In this experiment, I'm going to make a standard solution. Now, we very often at A level and IB level perform titrations to find the accurate volume of one solution required to react with a known volume of a different solution. And from those results, we can calculate the concentration of one of those solutions. But we can only do that if we accurately know the concentration of the other solution. And to do that, we need to make what is known as a standard solution. So a standard solution is one whose concentration is, is known um, precisely to a, to a number of decimal places. When we make standard solutions, we usually use a, a solid um, substance and it should be a solid which is relatively pure it, and because it's solid it's easy to weigh. We also need something which is pure so when we weigh it out we're not weighing impurities and thirdly we need it to be a substance which is readily soluble and doesn't easily react, um, decompose and so on. So today I'm going to make a solution of the substance ethane dioic acid and it's hydrated ethane dioic acid. So we're going to weigh a known mass of that solid and I've got some in this, in this pot here so I'm going to weigh a known mass of that solid. I'm then going to dissolve that in some solution and then use this piece of apparatus which is called a um, a volumetric flask to make the final solution. So I'm going to use a technique which is known as weighing by difference to find the mass of the ethane dioic acid. Now I need somewhere between about 0.7 and 0.9 grams of the ethane dioic acid. So I'm just going to put a weighing boat onto the balance and press T to zero the balance and then I'm just going to take the weighing boat off the balance just so I don't spill any of the, the solid, put a little bit into the weighing boat. So that's about 0.4 grams. So add a bit more. Okay, so I've got um, 0 0.91 grams there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero the balance again and record the mass of the weighing boat plus the ethane dioic acid. I'm going to record that result in a table. So um, I have my mass readings, which are in grams. Um, so I've got the boat plus the ethane dioic acid um, is reading at 3.22 grams. I'm then going to transfer that ethane dioic acid into a clean dry beaker. And I'm going to reweigh the empty boat. Now, there may be just a few crystals left in there. Um, that's reading at 2.32 grams. So from that, I can calculate the mass of just the ethane dioic acid. And um, that will come out at 0 0.90 grams. So I've now finished with the balance. I've weighed by difference. I've, by doing that, I've accounted for any um, little bits of acid that didn't transfer from the weighing boat into the beaker. Okay, so the next thing to do is to dissolve this. Um, ultimately, I'm going to make 250 centimetres cubed. So I need to make sure that I add significantly less than 250 centimetres cubed of distilled water. So I'm just going to pour um, about 100 centimetres cubed of distilled water into that beaker. So just pour that in. 
and then use a glass stirring rod just to grind up any larger crystals and then to dissolve all of the solid in there. Just look carefully. Make sure that's all dissolved. So once I'm happy that all of that solid has dissolved, just grinding down any last little bits of crystal that are in there. I'm then going to transfer that solution into the volumetric flask. So I'm going to use a funnel and I'm just going to pour the solution into the flask. Now there's a little bit of solution on the stirring rod so I'm just going to use the distilled water um, just to rinse the stirring rod just to make sure that all the solution um, that was on that stirring rod is now in the flask. I'm also going to just rinse round the beaker two or three times just again to make sure that all of the acid that was in the beaker is transferred into the flask. And then I can put that to one side and fill up the flask with, with more water. Um, what I want is for the, um, the level of the solution, the bottom of the meniscus, just to be touching the, um, the line on the flask. So adding the, the water carefully. I don't want to add too much. Okay, so the, the final bit of solution, I just add using a dropping pipette just to get the bottom of the meniscus to the line. And then we've got exactly 250 centimetres cubed of solution, but there's a bigger concentration of acid down at the bottom and it'll be more diluted at the top. So the last thing we need to do is to homogenize the solution to make it an even concentration throughout. And to homogenize the solution, what we need to do is to pop a, um, a bung into the top of the flask. And what I'm gonna do now is just put my thumb on that stopper just to keep it securely in place. And I'm going to invert the flask 10 to 15 times. Just to thoroughly mix the, the solution so it's got an even concentration throughout. Fully inverting it gives it a complete mix rather than just sort of giving it a gentle swirl. And that's made up the solution. Um, you may find that the bottom of the meniscus is now just underneath the line. Um, that's because some of the solution has been trapped around the stopper. Don't add a bit more water now because that will um, dilute that solution. So we now have a known mass of ethane dioic acid. We've got a known volume, 250 centimetres cubed or 0.25 decimetres cubed. And that 
from that, that mass and that volume, we can calculate a concentration. And that's how to make a standard solution. Always a good idea to label that flask with your initials, with the date, and with um, an explanation of what's inside it.